inside Prince George's surprisingly normal kindergarten life. He's very popular and has lots of friends, and there's very little fuss made about who he is. Dot. When the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children joined their cousins for a day of fun at the Burnham Horse Trials on Friday, it was a charming and rare glimpse into their daily lives. The family is spending the Easter holidays at their countryside home, Anmer Hall, in Norfolk. They are just enjoying being a family and having a well-earned break over the Easter, said a source close to the family. At Burnham, there was no sighting of Prince Louis, who will turn one on April 23rd. But Prince George and Princess Charlotte looked thrilled to be exploring the countryside with their cousin Mia Tindo. Such photographs are a rare treat for royal fans. But days out with their royal cousins are a regular part of life for the children, who are enjoying remarkably ordinary childhoods, according to family friends. Around the time of Charlotte's birth, the family lived in Anmer Hall, though they now live in Kensington Palace full-time. But they've returned to spend the Easter holidays in Norfolk, where trips to the beach and local farm parks are all part of the itinerary. William and Kate both love to be outdoors, and according to friends, their children spend the majority of their time outside. They have a walled garden with fruit orchards and vegetable plots, and George and Charlotte are always outside helping dig or plant something, said one local chum of the family home in Norfolk. The Cambridges are likely to be grateful for the family time following a turbulent past week of responding to unsubstantiated rumors. Royal lawyers recently issued an unprecedented letter that warned publications not to repeat a story published in a U.S magazine. The palace has refuted the story, which lawyers claim is false and highly damaging, according to the Daily Beast. Their lives back at Kensington seem to display more of that normalcy. Prince George, 5, is more than halfway through year one at Thomas's Battersea, a school in South London that costs £6,000 per term. It is co-ed, unlike the schools that William and Prince Harry attended as children. In September, Charlotte, who turns four on May 2nd, is set to join George at Thomas's, where pupils are offered activities including fencing, philosophy, gardening, and pottery. George is really happy at school, and, his nickname is P.G., says a fellow parent. He's very popular and has lots of friends, and there's very little fuss made about who he is. Either William or Kate do drop off, and they are always very friendly. William particularly loves to have a chat with some of the other parents and he works out with some of the mums at the Harbour Club after drop-off. He's very chatty and amiable. The prince has made many friends at Thomas's and enjoys play dates and parties. He is particularly close to his another royal cousin who is also his classmate, Maud Windsor, the daughter of Lord Freddie Windsor and Sophie Winkleman. No doubt when Princess Charlotte joins, it will be quite the royal royal bunch.